Hey, it's Julie with True Health Change. Just getting back from the gym, started a new workout regimen, which I think is kind of my new thing. Like, it was the beginning of spring, mid-spring, I think, when I was last posting about changing up my workout regimen. I had put my big gym membership on hold because I just wanted to be outside. I wanted to be running. I wanted to be working out with my kids. Um, and trying um, some exercises at home. And it was great. The summer was fantastic. I did a lot of running. I did a lot of working out with my kids. And it definitely suited my needs for the summer. But come fall, kids are back in school. And um, I noticed I'm getting weaker. And I was, it, as I was reflecting on it, I think I was definitely leaning more towards the cardiovascular doing the running and not enough on um, building muscle and now I just started feeling really weak and um, so I just joined a new gym I decided that um, the big gym um, big fancy gym was just not what I was looking forward to anymore and that atmosphere and so really that the atmosphere that kind of is more um, something that I look forward to I think is the smaller gym so I joined a new gym that's much smaller more personalized and um, I am on week two, not really even week two, it was just day two um, <laughs> of uh, going to the gym and working out and um, it's fantastic. But I will tell you, I went to a, a class today that was one of those, I don't even know what you call them, but you're following the instructor, there's music that you gotta kind of move with the timing. And I am not coordinated with that kind of stuff. And I felt wonky and just kind of just fallen all over the place and just my form was awful. Um, and I kind of felt a little bit silly, but I had to remind myself while I was there that I was getting stronger and I wasn't going to get good at doing these types of workouts unless I actually went and did it. And I was there and doing it, no matter how ridiculous I looked. And you know what? Nobody else cares. So I just want to, you know, as you're thinking about... Um, what your current workout regimen is. If you're not happy with your current workout regimen, you're finding you're not doing it as often, it might be time to take a step back and evaluate that and, and what it is like, what are your current exercise needs? Um, what sounds like fun to you so that you're not hemming and hawing about it because you're not going to you're less likely to do it. You're more likely to find excuses if you're not excited about it. So, you know, reevaluate. I think it's a good idea to reevaluate every season or just whenever you find that you're not doing it as much and you find excuses as to why you shouldn't be doing it. Get out there and do it. And it's not going to be pretty at first and you're going to be sore and that's okay because you just need to focus on what you're doing for your body and you're, you're making it stronger, you're getting it in the habit and you're not going to be as sore anymore. Um, but then it might be time to really evaluate because I think that soreness is good to make you feel like you've accomplished something exciting and new. Um, but the point is, get out there, do something for yourself, cardiovascular, muscular, whatever it is, do something for your health and um, reevaluate as needed. I have a webinar coming up, so look forward to that. There's going to be a lot of tips and tricks for ways to think of new exercises to do if you're finding yourself getting bored, and a few other tips and tricks for getting that best post kid body. Because let's face it, you know, we, we think about that body we had before we had kids, and it's long gone. It's not coming back. But you know what? Let's focus, focus on the best post-kid body that we can have, and it might be even better than the body that you had before kids. So look for that free webinar coming up very soon, and until next time, here's to your health. Bye.